We've got some exciting upgrades and maintenance to do to our Westy today. We're going to take the top off. We're going to refinish it, put new polyurethane paint on top. We've got some fiberglass that's showing through. We've got some really dull spots, small little crack by the sunroof, which is pretty common. We'll fix all that. Um, best of all, we're going to put a brand new three window tent um, to get rid of the rid of the 30 year old canvas that's been on there forever. So stay tuned. As you can see, we've got fiberglass strands sticking out on top of our luggage rack, which isn't good for the fiberglass and it's definitely not good for your hand when you reach up there and grab something. So definitely be taking care of that. The cleats are in pretty rough shape. I think we're just going to go ahead and drill those out and sandblast them and repaint them for this time. Um, instead of replacing them, those are kind of expensive to get. Before we take the top off, we got to make some room in the garage. So unfortunately, Bugster here is going to have to go out, live on the street for a couple of days while I make some room. So we'll be putting some saw horses up here, put the top up um, so we can do the sanding and get it all cleaned up. So you can see overall, our tent's in pretty good shape for being, what, 33 years old or so. Um, we have replaced the screen here in the, in the front window. Uh, I went and got some cheap fiberglass screen one time before a trip and uh, kind of glued it in. Thought it would be for one or two trips. It's been there for three years. Um, so it's worked okay. We've got some patches in the back uh, where mosquitoes were getting in. We've got a uh, duct tape patch from the last trip where mosquitoes were getting in. Um, so overall, you know, pretty good run for this old tent, but we're excited to have the three windows and some cross ventilation um, and get, uh, get this thing replaced. First step is to remove this lower track and all these little tiny screws, and that will free up the bottom of the tent. And from there, we will remove the upper bolts and then the back the outside hinge bolts and uh, we'll take it off and put it on some saw horses and uh, remove the rest of the tent and start with the top repair use here is a flexible extension with a quarter inch bit um, socket bit in the end that fits your screw head just perfect I'll snap into the impact driver three oh. look at that tent is coming off Now we got to remove those two. I got one with a cap, one without. Take the cap off, um, unbolt them, um, and then pull the hinge down. And we're going to put some zip ties on it to hold it down. It's under a lot of pressure. You need to be safe with this. Zip tie it down.
Yeah, there's a lot of shit. Oh, where is it? I've got to replace the tent. i got a bunch of fiberglass work to do. Oh, and nice. also, and I saw that black dot, and I'm like, oh, shoot, now I've got to get this in. <laughs> So to remove the luggage rack, I gotta take these four caps and bolts off. Um, and the four flathead screws in the front, and it should pop right off. Alright, looks like what 30 years of gunk looks like underneath. Ooh. Man, it's pretty nasty. Get that all cleaned up and put some screens in those drains and We'll see that problem again. Oh man, looks like we just took a van again now. And we took off Westy's top. So, got in here on some saw horses. I am going to uh, take the tent off. Then we're going to take it back outside a bit and scrub the flocking a little bit. We've had some black mold in the past a little we scrubbed off, but it's a good time to just take care of the whole thing now. Take the sunroof off, take all the brackets for the the Acoma box off, seals off, get it all done today. Um, and then tomorrow, hopefully spend most of the day sanding and prepping. The majority of the sanding, of course, will be on this guy. It's, uh, as you can see again, it's pretty rough. We've got a lot of work to do there. Um, I bought primer as well as the, as the polyurethane paint so we can get all this covered up. Should be good as new when we're done. Excited to have all this uh, finally finished. So we have the sunroof out, we've got all the other brackets off. We're gonna start to take the seal off now, the pop top seal, which yeah, it's stuck on there pretty good. You have to you know, pry that off, I think. Look at that. It's pretty ripped up. This seal here, the flat pop top seal, we may have to reuse for a bit. Um, ordered the tent and the seal kit from Bus Depot. They said they had everything in stock, but when they shipped it, they said the seal, the flat popped up seal, and the Westphalia decals were on back order four weeks. Kind of wish they would have said that before I placed the order. I would have went to Go Westy or someone else, but um, I think we can take this off and um, temporarily glue the old one back in place if we need to, if it doesn't show up in time. Save that if we need to for now. Need to scrape all this old material off here. Scrape what we can. Solve it just cleaner. So we have the seals all cleaned up, all the edges scraped, sanded a bit, taking all the, uh, I guess the bolts from the top out. And I don't remember them leaking at all. 
but now's a good time to clean them up, repaint them, seal them all up again. Sunroof seal is out. Um, basically now we're gonna take it out and we're gonna give it a good scrub with a scotch bright pad and some simple green to get all the this kind of dirt and stuff off and see what the top looks like. I do know I've got one small crack right there that I'm gonna work on a bit. I'm gonna grind that out, um, all the little edges out a bit and fill it with some epoxy and then uh, sand it smooth so that's nice and nice and strong again. Um, but once that's all dry, then we'll start some preparation for primer later this week.